Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Sessions by Smart Interviews. I hope you're all doing great. Let us try to solve a problem split linked list from lead code. I highly recommend you to pause the video here, come up with an approach of your own. Now, given the head of the linked list and a value k, we're supposed to divide the linked list into k different parts such that each part length cannot be differing more than one and the parts which are occurring first can be of higher length compared to the parts which are occurring later on. Now let us try to understand and solve the problem. So now let us take the example here. Here we are having the values as 1, 2 and 3 in the linked list and we are supposed to divide it into the 5 parts. Now here how many parts can we divide it into? 5 parts and each part can be of length. Exactly. Here we can't have the values of all the linked lists into one part because each part cannot be differing in their lengths by more than one. So here we need to have it such that the first one will be in a separate part, two will be present in a separate part, three in a separate part. And then the remaining two parts, 4 and 5, will be having a null value. And the same thing, if at all we are doing it for the second example here, the first part should contain the value as all the values from 1 and 4 into the first part, 5, 6 and 7 into the second part, 8, 9, 10, 11 into the third part. Can we do that? Not exactly. Why? Because the parts which are at earlier should be of higher length compared to the parts which are later. So here we need to have 5, 6, 7, 8 and then followed by 9, 10, 11. We are dividing them into k parts which is 3 here. Now how can we do this? As we see for each part what should be the size? So this is depending upon the length of the given linked list. So here length that we have is equals to 11 and the part size we can get it by the part size we can get it by length that is 11 by 3 that is k. Now this gives us the value as 3 again. Now if you are dividing each the entire linked list into 3 parts, what do we have? We will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and we are left with 2 additional nodes. So what should be done? These 2 additional nodes should be ideally added to the initial parts that we have. So we need to have the count of extra nodes that we are having. So in order to get the extra nodes, we can get it with the help of length that is 11 modulo 3 which is equals to 2. Now based upon these three variables, we can divide the entire linked list into k different parts. So initially let us start with the head of the linked list. Let us say we are having a current value which is pointing to the head. Now for the first part, what should be the size of the first part? Each part should at least be of size 3. And as we see, since there are extra nodes, there are two extra nodes. Can we directly add two extra nodes to the first part itself? No. So out of these two extra nodes, one of them will be added to the existing first part. So for the first part, the current part size will be equals to 3 plus, since we are having two extra nodes, one of them can be utilized here. So it is plus 1, overall 4. Now having this 4 as a value, let us try to iterate with our current point. Now in my first iteration, I'll reach to 2. In my second iteration, I'll reach to 3. 
third iteration I'll reach to 4 and in the fourth iteration I'll reach to 5. Now this 5 is going to be the head for my next part. But along with this, what else should happen? Exactly, this link should be made null. So in order for this to be made null, what else should we contain? Exactly, we should as well have a previous pointer. So initially the previous pointer will be pointing to null. And along with these four iterations, previous pointer will now point to 4. And here I can just simply make it as previous dot next is now pointing to null. And in the next iteration, I'll again start with the current. And this time, how many extra nodes do we have? Since one of them is already used up, we are left with only one extra node. And now the part size is 3 and extra nodes is 1. So overall, for the current part again, it is again the size as 4. Now iterate 4 times again. So first iteration, you'll have the value at 6. Second iteration, 7. Third iteration, 8. Fourth iteration, at 9. And parallelly, your previous will be at 8. Again, make previous dot next equals to null. Put this entire thing into a list. Starting with the next part. And this thing, how many extra nodes do we have? Both the two nodes that we had earlier were used up. So here it is 0. And for the current part, what should be the size? It is 3. We are supposed to iterate 3 times. So here, 1, 2, and in the third iteration, we are pointing to null. The current is now pointing to null, and we can stop our iterations here because we got the three parts that we need. So this is the first part, this is the second part, and here this is the third part. Now, let us try to code it up. So initially, we need to start by getting the length of the given linked list. So let us take int length equals to, let us write a separate function called get length. And for this, we are supposed to pass the head of the given linked list. And let us try to write the get length function. So here, it should be of written type int and the parameter for this is the head of the linked list int count is equals to 0 initially and y head not equals to null iterate on the linked list and increment the count so head equals to head dot next in here and ultimately return the count of it. Now once we get the length, what are the two other variables that we need? We need the part size. So here in part size is equals to length that we have divided by the total number of parts that we have. And along with this, we need to know how many extra nodes that we have. So here extra nodes is equals to length modulo k and now once we get the part size extra nodes we need to split all the given linked list into k parts so we need to have it in the array so we need to declare an array which is of size k Now, as we discussed, we are supposed to start by pointing to the head node and let us use current to point to the head node. So current is equals to head and initially previous will be pointing to null. Now, overall we will be having k parts. Now let us try to iterate on the k parts. So for in i equals to 0, i less than k, i plus plus and current is always the starting of the path. So let us try to directly put it that split of i is equals to current. 
Now we need to know what is the size of the current part. So let us take a variable int current part size, which is initially equals to same as the part size. Now the current part size will increase if at all we are having any extra nodes. So if there are any extra nodes, that is if extra nodes is greater than zero, in that case, the current part size will be increased by one and the extra nodes that we have will be decreased by one. Now we have the current part size. So now let us try to iterate on the current part size. So for int j equals to zero, j less than current part size, j plus plus current is equals to current dot next. We are updating the current with the next node and along with this we are as well supposed to update the previous. So we should be updating the previous before the current. So here previous is equals to current. Now we have put the current into the array and the link between the previous part and the current part should be removed. So here previous dot next should be made null and they should be made null only if they exist next to the previous. So first check if previous, if at all it is null, we don't have any next to it. So if previous not equals to null, then previous dot next should be made null and at the end return split. Let us try to run the code. Awesome. The test case has got accepted. Let us try to submit it. Great. We got it submitted successfully. I hope you like the video. Okay guys. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.